everybody. My name is Brad Mason, pioneer field agronomist for Western Illinois. It's July and we're finally getting heat and I wanted to talk to you about fungicide and whether or not we should be making some applications because I know that is at the front of mind for a lot of you guys as you guys start thinking about the next uh, maybe even two weeks to 30 days of when this corn crop is actually going to be pollinating. This field I'm standing in front of was planted in that Easter window, April 21st to the 25th. And although it seems pretty short behind me, we are three leaves from these tassels coming out. You can see that the tassels are pretty well developed and very shortly they're gonna be coming out and we're gonna see some really short corn because that April planted corn went through such a cool spell that it really stacked the nodes very low on this plant before we got this heat the last couple weeks to really shoot it up. So we're gonna see some really short corn, which we haven't seen for a couple years. So now we wanna talk about the question of should I spray fungicide on this corn that we should see tassel here in the next couple weeks. I'm gonna tell you it's probably not as easy as yes and no. It's gonna come down to field by field and hybrid by hybrid. I'm sure you guys have seen, uh, whether it's on Twitter, whether it's on social media, or maybe your local agronomist or sales rep has brought you some examples from your field but you should be going out and looking at your own fields because so far just this week, I've seen uh, rust. It looks like it probably is Southern rust, gray leaf spot starting, focus spot, anthracnose, leaf blight. All of these diseases are running, are starting to grow um, and starting to develop in these hybrids. So we really need to take a look case by case and walk those fields to try and determine what opportunity we have in that field, but also what diseases are starting. The reason why it's important to know that is because this corn is gonna need every single leaf it possibly can. And when we have those diseases develop, we're taking away this green space from these leaves behind us. And when we take away that green space, that is light that we can no longer capture because we have dead tissue. So I am a strong believer of when we look at the products we have out there and we look at the severity in the fields, we need to make sure we're protecting as much as we possibly can on this early planted crop to make sure we give our ch ourselves a chance for higher yields. When it comes to that June corn that was planted that first week of June, I think we're still at that wait and see time frame. I'm gonna tell you, probably need to continue to walk those fields. We need to make sure we see how much of a disease issue we have. And also it's gonna come down to the hybrids we have in place. With this early planted corn, I still think it comes down to the hybrids and the conversation. So I strongly urge you to reach out to your seed representative that you work with and, and really have an in-depth discussion of what you think is going on in that field and take a walk as well and, and really see what opportunity we have out there and what diseases are starting. We've had heat this week. We're, we're due for some rain. Uh, we're gonna have some humidity. So we've got the things there for some of these diseases to really start to run rampant in these fields. So we need to make sure we're doing the right thing. It's easy for us to, to look at 2019 and just throw our hands up and say, you know what? I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. But I, I strongly urge you guys to take a look at your fields, see what opportunity you have, and make sure we're doing the right thing. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.